This is Anthony Olympia with Six String Country, and these lessons will be working on Amarillo by Morning, a song made super famous by George Strait. It was written by Paul Frazier and Terry Stafford. Uh, I gotta say, this is one of my favorite, favorite classic country songs. Uh, can't tell you how many times I've probably sung it in the shower or driving down the road or whatever, you know, name it. Um, this, if you've listened to it, I'm, I'm sure you have, if you're here, uh, it's very fiddle heavy, right? It's, there's some guitar later on in the song, but for the most part, there's not really a lot of electric guitar stuff. So for these lessons, I'm transcribing and showing you how to play the fiddle parts on guitar. And that's super fun. Um, the rhythm lesson is really, really straightforward. It's cool. There are a lot of chords because there's a key change. Um, but it's, for the most part, it's, you know, it's, it's a 90s cowboy song. It's really, really cool. The solo, the outro solo in the lead lesson will be on a separate lesson. Um, but as far as like the other kind of like fiddle solos at the intro and the turnarounds, we'll keep those all in the main lesson. All right, so let's get started. This is the rhythm lesson for Amarillo by Morning. Uh, we're not gonna be using a capo, just straight up guitar, uh, standard tuning. Um, we're gonna start off in the key of D and we'll eventually migrate or modulate, if you wanna be all theory-tastic, uh, to E. And there's an interesting way that we get there um, that we'll go over. Uh, That's kind of the character of that section. All right, so let's talk about the uh, strumming patterns. Um, the first one is going to be the main one you use pretty much the whole time. Let's just hang with the D chord for a little bit to get this strumming pattern. Here's what it sounds like. Right? Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So that's slowly. Three and four and down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Cool? So that'll be the main one that goes through and then uh, we kind of drop in a variation of that one that's super, super simple, and that one, uh, strumming pattern number two, is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Really simple. Just pretty much a few times in the song when we're changing chords in the middle of the measure. And then uh, the third strumming pattern happens way later in the song, but let's go ahead and uh, go over it. We'll still be on the D chord here. It sounds like this. Right? Down, up, down, up, down, down. Let's do that slowly. Three and four and down, up, down, up, down, down. All uh, right, down a little bit so, and play through it. So here we go. Three, four, D. Not to the D. Stay on the D. F sharp minor, G, A, one more, cool, we get to the chorus, um, and this is like where he says, and that sun is high in that Texas sky, it's, it's kind of that shift uh, where we kind of get some new chord progression stuff, and this chorus will be the same in the second uh, the verse will be the same, the first and second verse will be the same. So yeah, talking about the chorus now. Starts on the G, still strumming pattern number one. Uh, one time, one measure there, one measure of A. 
All right, so now that we have all these parts, let's go ahead and try them to a metronome. Back in the key of D, we're gonna be at the intro. Let's go ahead and do the whole intro. We go one, two, three, four. This is the lead lesson for Amarillo by Morning. Like I was saying in the intro, we're gonna be doing a lot of what the fiddle did. Or really, most of the fiddle licks I think I'm covering here, um, if not 99%. Um, we do cover what the electric guitar does later on in the song, uh, in the choruses and whatnot. Um, so that being said, uh, taking what is played on another instrument and making it work in guitar, we kind of have to be a little bit uh, imaginative and forgiving as far as like uh, timing and different things. The style of the fiddle in this song is definitely more flowy. It's just these single note, long, long notes mixed in with little like, but uh, you know, stab, uh, stabby kind of things. Um, really, really fun to just practice like as clean as you can possibly play. And is like also you don't need to pick really hard. So really, to sometimes I feel like when I started playing guitar, I wanted to play everything super hard. It's like more is more, right? Um, I think in this situation, less is better. Less is not necessarily always more. More is more, right? Who was it said that Ingbe? But yeah, so for this song, less is better. I think as far as uh, how hard you're playing. First notes, we're on the high E string, fifth fret, and then seventh fret, pull off to the fifth. B string, fifth fret, slide up to the seventh. Hang there for a second. While that's sustaining, you're gonna hammer on and pull off to the eighth fret and back, and slide down to the fifth fret. This is where that compression really comes in handy because you slide up, and the compression helps that note last a little bit longer. Um, next, we're gonna be on the G string, fourth fret, slide up to the seventh, and then ninth fret of the D, back to the seventh fret of the G, seventh fret of the D. And then we do this insane uh, ascent into heaven. On now, to the first chorus. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now into the turnaround. One, two, three. 